Hi, hello and welcome to Dr. Ashwin Dental Info. Uh, it's a great pleasure to convey you all that I have scored the All India Rank 88 in the recently held NEET MDS 2022 examination. I have received lots, lots and lots of messages wishing me and I am really grateful to everyone who has supported me through, through this journey. And the most common question that I get is, uh, how did I prepare for it or how did I, uh, how did I achieve something like this? Uh, so it's it's not just one part it's a compilation of many parts uh, it's a it's a basic thing but it cannot be uh, said in a single video so i decided that i would make a series of videos uh, mainly focusing on the neat preparation strategies of what i used uh, to be, to the best of my knowledge so i have decided to create a series of videos from now on which i'll be posting in this channel like what is the time schedule i read what are the what are the timetables um, I used and the study materials and the examination strategies and things like that. So we will have, have about 14 to 15 videos coming soon in, the, in this channel. So make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the recent notifications. So to start off with, today we'll be seeing a short part on how to start reading for long hours. So the, the concept of NEET MDS is basically like you will have to know a lot of facts and you will also need to have the basics of those facts and the balance between these two will determine your uh, your performance on the examination it's not as complicated as this but if you know a fact you must also know the basics of it so what actually means is that you must spend equal time for your preparation of your exam that is the mcq part or the factual part and also spend a few time for the conceptual part also during your start of the preparation so it's like you cannot master your subject in, in just four or five hours and you need to read for at least seven to eight hours minimum, uh, which, is the, which is the ideal amount or uh, seven to eight or seven to nine. You can also extend your time up to 10 or 11 hours, but I, per I personally do not recommend it. Eight hours of quality time or seven hours of quality time is more than enough. So uh, let me give you a gist of how to study and let me continue this video in the next part. The first thing you must remember is reading seven to eight hours a day is very, very easy. Uh, it's just that you need to get that momentum. Uh, when I say momentum, it's not like uh, you get motivated to read or you get uh, you get a sort of uh, thing like you have that willpower in yourself that only you can read for eight hours. You need not have anything like that. You have to start slow. Uh, like you have to read for about two to three hours every day, every week. And then the next week you read for four hours and the next week you read for five hours and then six and then seven and then eight. This is the way you have to build up your momentum. Uh, this is just like a cricket bowler. Uh, you see a bowler, he doesn't develop his speed, uh, the speed of the ball in just a second. He runs forward towards the crease and then he bowls the ball so that he gains the momentum to push the ball. So don't be in a hurry to just sit off in eight hours because when you're going to even if you decide now you can read eight hours tomorrow but the day next to it you will completely feel burnt off and then you will you will skip reading and the average of two two days is just four hours and you could have happily read four hours so start slow and then uh, for the motivational part i would like to say see if you have 24 hours in a day you split that day into three parts Eight hours per day, you're going to sleep. Eight hours per day, you're going to enjoy. And then, then the eight hours per day, you're going to study. So this is 16 hours of productivity. I'm adding the joy part also in the productivity. Uh, because eight hours of sleep, you are not going to do anything. Unless you're overthinking or something like that. Or you have insomnia kind of symptoms. The, these 16 hours, uh, these are not like complete eight hours. These hours should be exchanged. If you read for one hour, you can break for one hour and then again you read for one hour and again you break for one hour. So that part, you must be precise in making how much time you read for uh, you need for your studies and how much time you need for your breaks. So I would personally recommend you study for two hours and then take a break of one hour and then again uh, two hours and then take a bre break of one hour. Uh, when I say this, it kind of feels easy, but it's very difficult for a person in 2022 with a lot of digital digitalization around us to sit and read and in front of uh, in front of a book which has nothing interesting 
but the thing is if you gain your momentum slowly it's very very easy and reading for 8 hours a day is a very simple task believe me if you have that momentum you can definitely crack this off now as we know we have decided to read for 8 hours but the problem which comes here is that do we need to focus on quality or quantity uh my answer would be you need to focus on both because uh 6 hours of quality time will be equal to 9 hours of not so quality time so you need to balance these both uh, both of these things and you have to track your study time it's very it's very important if you start tracking your time you will be able to know that how many how much time you are you are reading and how much time you are focusing and you can uh, it's like you must mark your distractors that's the major thing you do while you study uh, the major distractor would be your mobile phone uh, be it your social media or something like that you need not erase your social media but you need to restrict them like uh, using a dnd mode or switching off your notifications and stuff like that uh, the detailed video of the study time will be coming shortly in this channel so let us continue the major part the major series of this need preparation this is just my opinion not a pro- not a proven fact i used these techniques i enjoyed my learning to be honest it was not a so painful experience yes it was hard but i did not have a, like a bur- burnout thing or i did not stress myself out it was a very happy experience so i thought that i would share my experiences so that people uh, people around me will also get uh, benefited out of it and uh, and that's it for this video see you soon next time thank you